Welcome in today. I've got a video for you about USB to serial cables specific for running your Megasquirt ECU, connecting some sort of computer to your ECU so that you can tune it. And I have gone through a lot of different adapters over the years, and I just wanted to highlight this TrendNet TU-S9. This seems to be the most reliable serial to USB adapter that I have found. There are some, uh, there's, you have to be careful with these because there are different types for different situations in the industrial world that uses serial. So it's not always uh, exactly set up like this. I'm not 100% familiar with all the variations, but there are some differences. And my point being that this particular brand and model is one that I know of certainty works really well and I've never had any issues with it. This particular one I have had since 2016 or 17 in my arsenal and it has been working great and flawless since. It has tuned many, many cars and done many tuning sessions and it is still fine. Uh, in the past couple of years, TrendNet has come out with their new version of it. It has a molded serial end. This is what they would call a DB9. There are nine pins that lock in. It looks like an old peripheral port or, or printer style cable, but this is what a lot of uh, industrial automation tools use and microcontrollers, they use serial communication. And it just happens to be that this is the long time standard way of connecting to serial. So it may seem antiquated, and although by some standards it is, there are still many industries that still use serial, namely microcontrollers, which are essentially what the Megasquirt ECUs are. And I will put a link to these from Amazon. You can find them kind of all over. There's a lot of different vendors for them, but Amazon seems to be the easiest. If you have access to that, it's great. And this one has been one that has given me very little issues over the years, virtually zero problems. And I would suggest it to anybody who needs this particular adapter to go to a Mega Squirt 2 or a Micro Squirt. Um, some of the newer ECUs like the Mega Squirt 3 Pros and stuff like that, they have a typical A to B USB cable. So you will not need that for some of the more modern ECUs. But if you're looking, this is the way to go. I'll leave a link for this particular one in the description. And I can promise you of certainty that these will work for you just great in the applications of using them for Mega Squirt ECUs. So thanks for watching. This is a short one, but hope it's helpful. I know some people, when they're just getting into this, they would not know where to go. And this is a easy one to give you guys a little head start on. So thank you.